Hey, uh, what kind of words can you use to describe Ilya's performance tonight? Uh, outstanding. I mean, I can use all the all the ones that you want to write. They all they all will apply. Uh, he was outstanding. He gave us a chance. I mean, I, our first two periods were not pretty and it allowed us to hang around. And I thought we in the third, we got better. Uh, I thought in the overtime, we got better. And then obviously we were able to get a goal. So uh, once we scored that goal, I, I, I felt pretty good about our team. Uh, it was one of those nights where when we got it tied up and it went to overtime, uh, I was I was thinking this is going to be our night. Your best news day. You obviously knew what kind of talent Sorokin had when you brought him in here, but to, to have him perform in a, like that in a game like this, does that show you even more than you kind of knew before tonight? We, we sort of saw it on display, um, you know, during the year. And, and we're fortunate. We have two very good goaltenders. Uh, you know, Varley is, was outstanding. I mean, he set, you know, Islander records for shutouts, um, is a big part of it uh, down the stretch. Uh, I mean, he carried us early in the year. Um, and then Shiroki, when we started just going, you know, each goaltender getting, you know, a few games, uh, you started seeing his game on display. And, and obviously in, the, in this series, it's been on display. Frank Compton, NHL.com. Barry, there's been so much hype around this, around Ilya Going back to even before you became the coach, does that make this even more impressive that he's living up to this enormous hype? Thanks. Well, I'll just put it th this way. You guys are, uh, yeah, you, you can pump your tires a little bit, but at the same time, uh, I look at, uh, you know, he's, he's played well in this series. Uh, to me, greatness is about longevity. It's, uh, you know, you look on the other side, you know, Sid, Sidney Crosby and Malkin and those guys have been really good players and, and elite players for a decade. And Ilya hasn't proved it yet in the league, but it's a good start. And, uh, you know, he's, uh, you know, he's had a couple of good games here. He's had a good season for us. Uh, but you can hold on a little bit uh, on that because it, you have to do it over time, and that, that'll be the test. Bruce Beck, NBC. Barry, you just said hanging in there. Good teams figure out a way to win, and you did. So how proud or pleased of the group are you in that regard? Well, you know, it takes – it takes a, uh, I, I was proud of the group for hanging in there. You know, when things aren't going well or it's not going your way and, and uh, you're, you know, you're feeling a little bit overwhelmed, it doesn't matter in this game or in, in, in life a little bit. And, uh, you know, you can your attitude can change and you can become real negative and, and you can sort of pull apart. What I liked about our group was we pulled together and we got stronger because it wasn't easy. It wasn't going our way instead of, uh, you know, you know, trying to shift the blame or or anything. We just dug in. And uh, that's, to me, what good teams do. When you're, you're not at your best, you find a way to hang in there. You find a way to win. And, and that's, to me, shows a lot of character to our group. And that's, I always compliment our group on character. That's one of our strengths. Kevin Marr, News 12. Hey, Barry, simple question. I just want to know, does this really mean you'll put the Josh Bailey song on your phone? I will. I got just got to get it, for sure. Molly Walker, New York Post. Just to clarify that enough is enough boys was heading into the third period. You said, yeah, I just said, you know, our game has to have more substance than it, than it did. Right. We needed everybody to get on, get on, get on board and contribute. Uh, we, I, some guys were unbelievably, they were all in and they were pushing. And I had some other guys that I know that had another level. And I just said, we can't win this without everybody. And everybody got on board. Could Oh. Go, go ahead, Molly. Go ahead. Sorry, could you? I just needed to clarify that because I wanted to know if you could take us into the locker room between the first and second overtimes. You know, what did you say to the group? What was the message there? Uh, the the first and second overtime. Yes. I just said, listen, dig in, play the right way. And there's not a bad shot, and uh, keep the shift short. Be on the right side of the puck, and uh, you know, it's going to be all about. Who wants it more right now? Because it's, I know you're tired. I know uh, all those things. We've got the battle all, all night, but stick with it. This is about this is about character and the care for each other. So uh, I like that part of, of the uh, the process that you had to go through. 
Um, you know, nothing's easy in, easy in this league. Um, it's hard. And this is a hard division. And this is a very good hockey team that we're playing. And uh, it's going to take every ounce we have of, of uh, everything we have to, to win this. Last, last uh, one here, Christian Arnold, New York Hockey Now. Barry, I understand that this is just one game, uh, you know, in a very long run I'm, I'm, that you're hoping for. But in certain games, especially like a win like tonight, can kind of be a defining moment for a team during the postseason. Do you look at this game and look at it as a possible defining moment for the team during this run in the postseason so far? Well, I, I'll tell you this. Uh, well, this is uh, I've been in the league a long time. You don't know what a defining moment is until it's all over. And um, I, I know there's some defining moments when I, we had success in, uh, uh, and won a cup. I can look back and say, you know, it changed. It changed. Everything changed that moment. But you don't know if it changes until it's all over. So uh, a really uh, gutsy win, finding a way to win when you're not at your best. And um, uh, we'll see. I, that, that's a great question. But that's probably a question uh, when our season's over, um, you know, and uh, I can you, I can answer that more accurately. <laughs>